Uh, you know, I just, you know, those guys played fantastic. It was fun to watch them play. Uh, I thought Shane called a great game. I thought all the assistants were were ready to go to make adjustments. You know, but all the credit goes to the players, obviously, the the impact that the front had and the pressure, um, you know, to force him into some bad decisions. You had such a focus on turnovers earlier this year. It wasn't successful. Two, two early ones led to scores. Was that focus you put on, like, the key to, to that? Or? Well, I mean, I hope that it is. I think we got to still continue to try to hammer the football out. But, you know, when you can force quarterbacks in this league, just like, you know, they did sometimes to, to Ryan, you know, if you can, you can force them into bad decisions. And, um, you know, we, we really have, you know, I think that, that group is, is playing with a lot of confidence right now to be able to come in here and, you know, play the way they did. And, uh, you know, hold them to field goals and play great in the, the red zone. You know, all those situational um, situations that we had where it was third down or red zone, you know, we really came up big, and that's been an improvement for us this year. Did you anticipate this, this could be – one of those games where the yardage was out of whack and it wouldn't match up with the scoreboard or just kind of turn out that way? Yeah, I don't really try to anticipate how the game's going to go. You know, you go out there and you and you, and you get a sense for how it's going. Uh, you could tell early on yards were going to be hard to come by. So all the little things that we talk about with details and penalties and not doing stuff to hurt the team and turnovers, um, all those things make a huge difference. The team-wide reaction this week, losing Derek and then coming with a performance like this. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, we've we've moved on to, you know, since Derek, uh, we we knew that he wasn't going to be with us um, early in the week. I felt like the guys um, responded, had a great week. Uh, coaches got players ready that weren't here, you know, and they played in the game and, and they made plays to help us win. The Higby touchdown that was overturned. What was that like from your perspective? Same one it was for you. I don't get an extra replay. I just get the same ones you guys get. It looked like his foot was out of bounds. That same thing about why it takes so long, Mike. I mean, it's pretty. Guys, crazy. you could. They have a Twitter site that's at NFL officiating. Just tweet at them. I don't. You know what I mean? Like they don't. I don't get any special um, answers. So just tweet them and see if they respond to you. Like how, how big was the Monty Hooker tackle within the butt pressure? It, it was absolutely critical. You know, and I think that they, um, you know, Monty worked his way through the trash and, you know, they probably tried to pick him off and made a fantastic tackle. And then for Bud to, you know, factor on that play, it was a, it was a huge play. You know, we, were, we weren't trying to hang on by any means. It just was, you know, tough sledding there. I thought we came up with a huge drive. Um, you know, they, they helped us out. But, you know, we, we went down there and we were able to finish off. And, you know, Ryan threw a great ball. A.J. came up big when it, when it mattered, you know. Uh, and, and then we were able to punch it in there in the, in the, in the end zone. How big was the fact that your front four, you guys are getting pressure there, able to drop seven. How big is that for your pass defense against a team? Like yeah, that? and then we can continue. You know, I think that now that we're starting to see some of that, hopefully we can you know, start to marry some of that and, and, and not take some chances, but understand that the ball you know, is coming out here pretty quick. Um, you know, I think he was able to progress through a, a few times, but you know, they're, they're going to block us. Um, but hopefully that we can continue to have some success with, with rushing four and mixing in some pressure. Was one of your coaching points for the guys to match hands with the quarterbacks? Because they did that a lot. To well, we've, that's, that's something that we've always done. I mean, that's part of ball disruption. That's part of our, our practice routine, you know, matching the quarterback's throwing hand, stabbing through the pocket, hammering, raking, all those things that we coach. And um, you know, I think that the more that they see themselves do it on film and then they're holding each other accountable to get turnovers, you know, and the offense is obviously taking care of the when we take care of the football. You know, you can start to do some really good things. What kind of uh, contribution do you think Adrian made? I thought he played physical. I thought he, um, you know, brought an energy and a professionalism. And you know, we'll we'll continue to you know, it's you know, as a run behind this line, and we didn't have a practice that was a you know a full speed padded practice because where we were in the season. So, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things that he would like to have had back or cuts, and you know, we were battling and. You know, I give our guys a lot of credit for competing. When did you know that you were going to be without Taylor? And I guess, uh, you know, the group as a whole, how did you think you did up front protect? Well, I mean, I think that this is a, you know, this is a very good, excellent defense. Um, but I enjoy watching those guys play and compete. You know, Quiz was, was a captain for us today. Obviously, Roger coming back home. Um, you know, Ben Jones is, is the glue, you know. And then, you know, Brew being able to step up in there and, you know, I'm sure he'll be finishing all over the place, and I'm sure there'll be some plays that he'd like to have back. And then, you know, Bobby stepped in. Bobby's played in this league, and, you know, he was, uh, you know, ready to go. Well, the, 
the thing where Taylor tried to see what he could do in warm-ups? And... Yeah, Taylor just was unavailable today. You know what I mean? He was going to be an emergency role. Mike, how much have you seen growth from Jeffrey Simmons in the time? Well, he's been a fantastic person, leader, uh, contributor for us since since the day that we drafted him. And, you know, he he's really playing with a lot of confidence, and I think that his technique is what's improved. He was always just a big, powerful, play hard, be disruptive player. And I think we're all starting to see some of the uh, technique, you know, that everybody, you know, that those guys up front are, are coaching him. And, you know, he's feeling some confidence in it and, and showing that it works. Mike, how, how, how important has it been to have a defense that, that makes these game changing plays happen? It's three weeks in a row now. You know, I just I hope it doesn't run out. You know, I mean, I know you can't rely on it, but you know, again, you you put enough pressure, and, and those, you know, I'm feeling it over on the sidelines. I'm feeling that type of pressure, and you know, they're doing the same thing to our guy. You know, they're doing the same thing to our quarterback. But um, you know, I think they're all just you know, continuing to build some confidence, and um, guys are catching them. You know, when the quarterback makes bad decisions. I think these guys. Uh did well responding to the way Ramsey tries to get under people's skin and then it becomes a non-factor once once the scoreboard kind of yeah, I mean, he's a good player. We we had, you know, however many three penalties or four penalties they had, 10 or 11. So, you know, again, I, there, there's your there's your answer to how we responded. Did you think he was going to be out of the game with the... Sure, the from my ball? knowledge, yeah, when it was reported and called a taunt and then the next one... Um, you know, is the penalty that would get you out of the game, and then they say, "No, we we changed it." Okay, and then just let me know when you change it. How much, my man? This, this is a confident team, anyway. I think at the start of the season, but the success you've had in recent weeks, how much do you think that's helped build confidence and convince guys? Well, success would... leads to confidence. You know, going out there and being able to view it, continue to improve, and that's that's the message. You know, we're 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 better now than what we were uh, to start the season. And, and that's the most important thing in the National Football League is that you find ways to continue to improve. I mean, you obviously have to find ways to win, but along the way, you got to find ways to get better. Because um, if you don't, you'll you'll find yourself, you know, on the outside looking in. Because there's a lot of teams that are going to continue to, you know, improve, and we have to be one of those.